few hours north of Sydney lies a half-forgotten road-building masterpiece. To get to it, I'm heading through the citrus orchards and horse studs of the pretty Summersby Plateau. This road leads to a place called Buckety, where I'll see my first glimpse of the World Heritage Convict-built Great North Road. The Great North Road was built over 10 gruelling years from 1826 to link Sydney with the Hunter Valley. At Buckety, the original road pavement can still be seen. A retaining wall of hand-hewn sandstone blocks is my first glimpse of this astounding engineering feat. I press on, this time bound for the historic village of St Albans. I pass rustic houses in isolated valleys. Mogo Creek is flowing after recent rain. Wallabies bound away up the slope when I stop to look at the view. Only occasionally do you pass another car out here. I reach St Albans at lunchtime, which is handy because it means I can stop at the historic Settlers Arms Inn. People are rolling in for a hearty lunch in the garden. And there's a warm fire and a cold beer inside at the bar. If you want to get a real sense of history, check out the local cemetery. This first fleeter is buried a long way from home. Near Wiseman's Ferry, I rejoin the Great North Road. These rugged ridges must have seemed so bleak to those convict gangs. There are signs of their skill and labour everywhere. All done with primitive hand tools under impossibly tough conditions. They call this hangman's rock for obvious reasons, and you can't help but wonder who and why. I've learned one thing about convicts today. I'm glad it wasn't my lot in life to be one.